Adrift is a votive boat in the line of, in sort of in following along the tradition of votive boats you get in churches, in particular, say, the one we're in right now, All Hallows by the Tower. But it's a, li a life-size votive boat, and it looks like a sailing dinghy, but when you get close to it, you realize it's not quite real. And it's encrusted in vegetation, as if it's been in a long journey and it's abandoned up a river somewhere or the other. There is an aspect of dealing with ideas of mortality because the idea of crossing the river Styx, of paying the boatman to take you across. And so the boat can be seen as a vessel taking you from one state to another state. It's basically, the church is a metaphor for a ship. The ship is a metaphor for a church. They, they sort of go back and forth. And the ship is a vessel which holds people, holds lives. The church could be argued, then this church could be argued, that it's a vessel, a thing which, hold, which is holding people. Churches are, are interesting buildings, but they're also frightening buildings, and people don't necessarily dare enter them because they wonder what they're going to find behind the front door. And in a way, if you look at the space when they were, were created initially, churches were places of meeting, community places where people gathered for markets, for trading, all sorts of things went on in churches over the centuries. But they are places where people encounter uh, something greater than them, but it's also a place where people en encounter one another. And it's a, a special space, a liminal space, where, where I suppose our minds and expectations are changed, and so to encounter art that challenges is, 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 I suppose, part of the work that we can bring to bear on people's reflection on life and the meaning of life and, and the big questions of life, really. Since the foundation of the church in the seventh century, this has been a place where people who've worked on the river and indeed on the sea have come to pray before their voyage and when they returned to give thanks to God. Uh, and uh, we became the, the church for the Port of London Authority and around the church there are many memorials. Uh, and we also uh, hold the book for all those who have died at sea and for whom there is no known grave. And of course, Hugh Locke's work is particularly relevant because, well, first of all, the work with the boats, the, the, the sense of timelessness, yeah. that there's something rather arresting about the, the mix of media and, and the mix of topics.